Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Salem. In this video, I'm going to talk about the plot tab of the tool strip in MATLAB. So in MATLAB, we have three main tabs, home, plots, and apps. For the plots, we can see here several plots, but they gray out. So if we click at the plot or the plot as a multiple or any one, it can't use, it can't be used because they gray out. And someone will say, of course we can't use because this is the workspace and we don't have any variable to draw. So first we need to define some variables. So let's consider that we are going to use x between 0 and 10 and then estimated the sine and cosine in two function y1 and y2. So the x is equal to line space between 0 to 10 with for example let me take 20 elements as a like the, the how many numbers and let's use a semicolon to suppress the output and press enter and then estimate y1 which is the sine of x and y2 which is the cosine of x now we define the three variables x y1 y2 and uh, let me just click here before like click just click in the general at the workspace and now we have three variables but still this window is gray out we can't plot anymore why because we can't plot unless we select variables for example if i just click y1 now once i select one variable this window will be activate and will show here if we click show more we can show all possible plots that we can use for this variable one more once we select y1 here in the selection part here we can see that we selected y1 so it means that once we select one variable here it will be shown here for example if i select y2 it will shown here y2 if i select x here it will shown x here but the question is what if if i need to select two variables for example x and y1 to do so press and hold the control button and then select the first one and then select the second one which is y1 once we select two release the control key and now for example i need to plot for example the plot command that we we take and we practice many times let me minimize the window so you can see what will happen and now i selected x y1 this is selection and please note i will click the blot but i need you to to see here what will happen in the command window we have only three lines with three variables we defined if i click plot two things happened the first thing is the blot command shown here so in the in the once we click any blot in the plots tab the the command that used to generate it, that plot will shown on the command window so we can know how to do that the second thing is the window will show up to show what is the shape of that plot for example here the x axis x and y axis is the y y1 this is sign so for example if i click by not the by chart if i select for example the area if I click the area plot, if I click here, so it will sh show this is area and this is the command we use. So we use X and Y1 and like the nasty, like the name and then Y1. And for example, if we select the bar chart, for example, this is a bar chart. If we select it here, so it will show the bar between X and Y and the nasty, it will be Y1. So this is kind of the this plot is showing this command it show which command we use to show this one but did you notice something once we click the the new plot for example the area plot again this plot the previous one which is the bar plot was closed so the bar plot was closed and we only have one one plot which is the area plot the reason for that is that if we a little bit increase that window to see this option let me increase it a little bit yes 
So if I increase, there are two options here. The first option is reuse the figure and second option is new figure. And the selected one is reuse figure. It means that every time I click a new plot, for example, this is figure one, please remember this name, figure one. And now this is area plot. If I click the plot command, it will show the blood command and it erase the previous one. So it means that it reused the previous blood. But what if, if I need to see this one and the area blood to select or compare? In that sense, I should click here, new figure. If I click a new figure and click this time area, so please notice what happened. This is figure number one with the blood and this is figure number two with the area blood. So the difference between reuse the figure and the new figure is reuse will reuse the, 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 the current active figure window, but the new plot will like, like that generate a new one. And we learned during the previous video that if we use close all and press enter, it will close all active window here. So we now close all. And the second thing we need to know is, for example, now if I click in the workspace here, all the selected variables was removed and again the window of the plot tab was deactivated. For example, if I need to select the, the, the relation between X and Y2, so if I select Y2 first and Y2 was shown here and then press and hold control and go to X, so this is y2 and x the problem is the variable shown in the top here will be drawn on the x axis and the variable shown in the bottom it will be drawn on the y axis but we need to reverse because x should be on the x axis and y2 should be in the y axis so if we click here this is switch the variable order if we click here we will have x and y y2 so let's plot and check what will happen. Let's plot this time. Plot. So the x, it should be from 0 to 10 as we know, and the y-axis from minus 1 to 1. So let's reverse the order here. So we have y2 and let's have x, and then click again plot. If we click plot, the order was reversed because in this time, the, the top variables was y2, so it drew in the x-axis, and the X was drawn on the Y axis from 0 to 10. So it is very easy. Once you select two variables, please check here the order because the order is important. Now we need to switch between X and Y2. So now we understand. So for example, like now we have the adjusted one. We can click the bar value and bar plot. So and now we have the output of the bar plot. And please remember that the figure name here is figure three. It means that if we go down here, we will have figure one, we will have figure two, and we will have figure three. We have three figures here because we selected new figure. So now we have new figure, but if I need to reuse, I should click reuse figure. And if we have multiple figure is open, for example, figure three, figure one, and figure two and we need to close again as I mentioned once we cl click close close will close the active window if I click enter it close plot two be because plot two was the active one but if I click close all it will close all the open plot now so the blood command is a, a blood tab is a very easy way to create very interactive plots and you can check which plot is suit your data and then you can do that. And also, for example, if I select Y2 only and then I go to the pie chart and click by, now we have the pie chart here. So they, they, they draw the pie chart for the Y1. So the, and of course they have some like that, like that warning that they have the negative value and the pie chart should have only the positive value so they, they neglect the, the kind of the negative value the most important is you can use just to use the blot tab you need first to select the variables 
check the order here and then click the plot and the comment will show here and the figure will show out there and please remember there is a difference between reuse figure and the new figure that's all for that window thank you bye bye